Hey, I'm Scotty, and I'm gonna share with you five important tips to help you sketch people quickly in public. But before I get onto the tips, I wanted to show you some sketches I did on a recent beach holiday with my family. So I was just sitting in the sand with my sketchbook, sketching people, standing around, playing with their children, playing in the water, relaxing in the sun. So the first four tips I'm gonna share with you, some things I learned from sketching these. And the last tip, I'm gonna actually practically demonstrate a technique that will help you when you're sketching in public. So tip number one, it might be obvious, but to get a sketchbook. So I've got a moleskin sketchbook, it's an A5. I found the A5 size was quite nice, so I could fill up my page. Also something like an A6 size would be really great as well. You can hold this in one hand and sketch. Make sure it's got a hard cover, because then when you're sketching on your lap or standing up, you can sketch very easily. Um, this is smooth paper. I found it easier to sketch quickly on smooth paper. If you have a watercolor sketchbook, the cold pressed paper can be a bit rougher, but it's still nice, especially if you want to add watercolor on top. Tip number two is the pen. So I'm using a Uniball Ultra Micro Pen, and it's got about a 0.3 tip. I'd recommend anything between a 0.3 and a 0.1. You could also choose one of these popular brands, a Secura, the Stedler, and the Faber-Castell. They're really good pens as well. I personally find, maybe because I press too hard, that I ruin these tips within a couple of weeks. So that's why at the moment I prefer the Uniball pen. So the great thing about these pens is you have a very durable tip. The, the ink flows very nicely, so you can press quite lightly and you can still get a very fine thin line, which is really nice. Okay, so tip number three is to sketch your figures very small. I wouldn't sketch someone fitting this whole A5 page. It's much better to do lots of different figures. If you sketch them smaller, you're faster, and also you don't have to put in as much detail. And so if a person moves, uh, you haven't just drawn their head, you've actually, you've actually captured their whole body and their gesture. Most of my figures here are about six centimeters to about four centimeters. So, so tip number four is to embrace your mistakes. When I was sketching these, I thought a lot of the time that I was guessing, but as I went on, I looked back at my sketchbook and I really liked the feel of the line work even though there's heaps of mistakes, and sometimes the person would completely walk away and would have to make up half of them. I think that's part of the fun of doing these sketches is the excitement of not knowing how long they're gonna stand still and how quickly you have to work. So if you're looking for a way to loosen up your sketching, definitely try to sketch in public because it will break some of that perfectionism you might have. So tip number five here, I'm gonna actually show you how I sketch people quickly. So I'm looking at that man here on his phone and I'm just doing the outline here of his, of his top half of his body. Okay, that's a general shape of his top half. I'm following the curve of his body. From there to there, about halfway down to the ankles. And then he's got his phone here, something in his hand. Okay, so I've got the general shape really quickly. Did the outline of the head, I didn't worry about the collar, didn't worry about all the seams, just went down to find that halfway point. And if you've got a really long jacket, maybe you could guess where that is down there. A point on the side of his head is the ear. So I can start adding in details, even if he moved now, I've got the main idea. So adding in some of the dark shadowy details. The pockets here, pants. So that's how I sketch people in public. If you want a more detailed tutorial, I recommend you check out this one here where I sketch people in an interesting scene. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.